a misunderstanding. Everything exists all at once. Therefore, it's not really reincarnation, it's multiple simultaneous incarnations that all exist now. You can create the experience of going from one life to another, but that's not what's actually mechanically happening. That's not an accurate description of the structure of existence. In the structure of existence, all lives, all beings, all personalities on all dimensional levels exist right now, simultaneously, side by side, overlapping in different vibrational realms. But you can create the experience, the linear space-time experience of making it seem as if you're going from one to another, becoming one person, then becoming another. But that's not what's actually happening. Nevertheless, as you make connections from your life to other simultaneous incarnations, you make those connections because you believe those connections are necessary to aid and assist you in the exploration of the theme of this life. So one of the themes can be that you create the experience of being what you call an old soul, a very experienced soul with many different connections and cross connections to multiple simultaneous incarnations. And you may choose to function in a variety of ways, physically or non-physically, as a guide for other souls to help them on their journey as well. Does that answer your question? Yeah, but I have a question involving what you just said. <laughs> so you're going to add a fourth question then? Yes, I am. All right, go right ahead. If you say that everything just is and all the... like Everything all exists the souls, right now in structure. The then, thing that is always new is your experience of the structure, your point of view of the structure. That's always changing. That's always new. But the structure never changes. The structure already exists totally and completely. But as the population grows, where do all these extra, like, energies come from? Divisions of what already exists. In other words, of the 7 billion people on your planet, that actually only represents about 300,000 oversouls, splitting themselves into a multitude of incarnations simultaneously. So are we all connected? It can explain doppelgangers as well. <laughs> but the idea in that sense is that Energy and consciousness can divide itself into a multitude of expressions and points of view and can thus then reintegrate itself into fewer and fewer expressions as well. That's what ascension is. That's what integration is. It's gaining more of the idea of your greater self and integrating yourself and paradoxically seeing from more and more individual points of view even while you are integrating into a singular perspective or overview. Does that make sense? Yes. All right, and your original third question? My final question. Um, so I grew up in a pretty bad environment, and I was just- Define bad. Uh, my mom was an alcoholic, and she like abused me. Oh, physically. all right, how exciting. <laughs> Not very exciting, but I was just wondering, why do bad things happen to good people? The idea is to understand that there are things that happen the idea is to understand that you choose to be with the people that you are born to. The idea is to not say that you wanted to be abused, but that you understand that there are people on your planet that have not been taught how to love. They have not been given the tools how to express love appropriately. They do the best they can, but they may be living in fear. And they may not know how to express their idea of power in any other way other than trying to control or abuse others. This is a sign that they don't believe they have any power. Thus then the idea is to recognize that they actually feel powerless and to have the compassion to understand that they are simply feeling helpless and hopeless and they simply don't know any better. The idea is for you to empower yourself and understand that you have the ability to define yourself and your experience in any way, shape, or form that you prefer to, regardless of anything that has ever happened to you. Because you have the ability to put a positive meaning to anything, even if someone perpetrated something intentionally negative against you, you actually have the power and the ability to turn that around for yourself in a positive way, regardless of what their intention may be, and to have the compassion to recognize that they simply don't know any better and to help them recognize that they can change and become self-empowered if they so choose, but they don't have to. 
You have to allow them the freedom to choose whatever they wish, even if it's negativity, because whatever they choose has nothing at all to do with you now as an adult in terms of affecting your life, regardless of what they may have done when you were a child. You have the ability to redefine who you are and in a sense be your own parent and raise yourself as you would prefer to have been raised right now. Does that make sense? Yes. Yes.